Hi everyone, it's Kendra here, Miss Kincaid. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Um, as you can tell by the title, you guys, I'm going to be talking to you guys all about my LASIK surgery. If you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know that I did get LASIK back in May. And um, today is going to be focusing on the follow-up and how I'm doing today. So if you guys are interested and you want to hear all about it, then definitely keep on watching. If you're new to my channel welcome by the way go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me real quick go, go ahead and do that if you're new welcome to team miss Kincaid you are now a miss Kincaid best friend back in May right after I got back from Dubai I did get my procedure done I went um, to Jaffe Medi Center if you guys don't know they have a couple of locations um, I will post all of their um, website information down below but I did get my um, procedure done at the location in Louisville, Kentucky with Dr. Smith, with Dr. Kenneth Smith. And here recently I had my last follow-up um, visit. So they checked my eyes, they made sure everything was great and I did have a great appointment. Still seeing 2020, girl. So yes, you guys, let me just tell you that since getting this procedure done, my quality of life has increased like 100%. Let me tell you, I went to Canada back in July for my birthday and it was probably the most enjoyable solo trip ever because I did not have to reach for any of my seeing eyeglasses. I could see Niagara Falls with a clear vision. It was amazing and I am so happy I decided to get the procedure, you guys. If you're thinking about the procedure, definitely check out my initial video. It'll show you the procedure. It'll show you pretty much everything that I went through when I got my LASIK surgery. Currently, my eyesight is wonderful. I will say that I'm still experiencing a little bit of dryness in my eyes, mainly my right eye, and that is, the, I don't know if it's because it's the eye that I had the stigmatism in, but I am experiencing a little bit dryness and this eye seems to be the one that dries out and that gets that feels a little bit more drier than my other eyes so I when I went to my follow-up up, up appointment um, the doctor told me to continue to use the eye drops so that is what I do now the dryness is not like every day and it mainly happens when I wake up in the morning which is normal because you know when you're sleeping you keep your eyes closed so they're they're getting dry you're not blinking them so they're, they're drying out in the, middle, in the middle of the night while they're closed. So yeah, she told me that was normal. It's nothing odd or anything like that. She said at this point, it just should get better from here on out. And I, I can't say that it used to, of course, at the beginning, my eyes would get dry all the time and I had to constantly use, use those eye drops. Today it is decreasing and um, yeah, it's getting better, but I am still experiencing a little bit of dryness when I wake up in the mornings. And, um, oh, another thing is that, um, another thing that the doctor told me was that my sight would fluctuate still some. And just the other day, I was looking at my television, which is probably like five steps in front of me. I was looking at my television and this, this right eye was a little bit more blurry than the left eye or it was blurry it wasn't like completely blurry but i could definitely tell the difference when i was like you know switching eyes and i was like oh my goodness so that was the first time um since like the beginning of the surgery that i saw the fluctuation in my sight i haven't had it since then um so hopefully that's gone <laughs> but that is um normal that is normal the doctor did tell me that that is normal and that may happen um, but as time goes by, it's just going to get better. So yes, you guys, like I said, I had my last follow-up appointment. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch that right here. Hi, you guys. So you guys, today I have my last LASIK appointment. This is just a follow-up appointment. Um, it's been three months since I've had my procedure, my eyes are doing just fine you girl you guys um so there's no complications whatsoever i am experiencing just a little bit of dryness just a tidbit of dryness i mean if i compare it to both eyes i am feeling a tidbit drier on this side than this side um so yeah i'm gonna ask them about that make sure there's not even any like air bubbles in my eyes or whatever <laughs> so i'm definitely going to let them know that um that's pretty much it you guys no other updates my eyes are nice and clear there's no issues with them <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited um, to see dr herman and the crew 
And yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys right along with me, so let's go. <laughs> That's all that matters. I do want to say that I am experiencing just a tidbit of dryness in this eye. Okay. So, I mean, I think that's normal. Mm -hmm. It's been about three months. Okay, so. Um, if I'm comparing it to both eyes, I, it's just a tidbit of dryness. So, mainly when I wake up in the morning after my eyes being closed for so long. So. Are you using any lubricating eye drops? Nothing. Okay. So you can still use those okay. periodically okay. as you need them. Um, it will help okay. with, with yeah. dryness. Especially, uh, we get that a lot in the mornings uh, uh, with patients. Okay. Because I think what it is, some people don't realize that sometimes you don't close your eyes all the way when you sleep. Okay. So therefore, if your eyes are kind of open just a little bit, you're going to get a little dryness. Yeah. Stuff. Okay. Awesome. All right. So looking out here, okay. check your vision. Right. Small song you can read. A P E O. Perfect. About there. T Z V E. Mm -hmm. Look a few times. Try that in there. Um, o H P H. Very good. 2020 each eye, and then 2015 together. Okay. So you're still still at point. Yes. So. Yes. Our right, head and chin all the way is gonna. Take some measurements okay. here. So you know, Looking good. Okay. Yeah. Still looks. It still looks great. So great. I'm sure Dr. Herman will tell you to you know you occasionally try to use some drops. Okay. I'm um, feel drop. Are you guys? So yes, that was my last follow up. I don't have any more follow ups, so that means I don't get to see Dr. Herman and the staff anymore. Dr. Smith, they were all so wonderful. Um, so yeah, you guys, that was my last appointment. I am done with my appointments unless I have some type of emergency or something. They told me to just call them and I can make an appointment. So I am just so very grateful to the staff at Jaffe Medi Center. They took so great care of me. They took great care of me throughout this whole procedure. I'm just very grateful. I'm very thankful and I'm glad I decided to get the procedure. So if you guys are thinking about it, listen, you guys. I say go for it. I say go for it. It is one of the, like I said, one of the best things I ever, you know, one of the best decisions I've ever made. So yes, you guys definitely do your research. Um, check out the facilities that are close to you. And Jaffe Medicine Center does have facilities. Uh, I think they have four or five facilities. Deb, I will link their website down below so you guys can check it out. I know they have one in Atlanta, one here in Louisville. So yeah, definitely check the description box for all of that information. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.